This is March 27, 2007. I was incarcerated December the 24th, 2007 for terrorism. I was making a documentary and a movie about Lake County, and this proves that I came there to get my records. All right. Freedom of Information Act. Request. March 7, 2007. Lake County. Under the Freedom of Information Act. I want the records from 1986 no longer exist. I was going for my 1986 records because I turned in guns and drugs to the police. I had a jailhouse diary of the corruption and the racism in the courts back in the 80s behind the war on drugs. You feel me? That's Sheriff Korean. All right. So y'all had this in 86. Now we fast forward. December 2007, y'all locked me up and charged me with terrorism. I was making a movie and a documentary about your prison industry. Mass incarceration. You feel me? It was a return because I went home. I'm from Baltimore. No, I'm originally from Lake County. And I went to Lake County, from Lake County to Baltimore, and I turned my life around. You feel me? Just like the return, I turned my life around. And I was returning home. While Keegan's worst, the Baltimore's best. Now, see the date? That's in October. So, in October, I told you what I was doing. I told you I was coming home. That's the case number. 072046. There's no statute of limitations on murder or attempted murder. I came to file a lawsuit and hold y'all accountable for, for trying to kill me. Governor Hogan got this. All right? See this? This is President Obama. President Obama asked for an investigation while I was incarcerated. Chicago office. You feel me? See the date? 2008. While I was locked up, I turned in the judges, the lawyers, and the politicians in Lake County, Illinois that sell out black Lake County. I named y'all. I was locked up. You feel me? So I'm going to lay y'all out here and I'm going to talk about y'all. Like I said, it's about Lake County, Illinois. So President Obama asked for an investigation. President Obama has that information. That is Kerry Clogwell. That's President Obama. That's Governor O'Malley. Governor O'Malley had this too. All right, Governor O'Malley had it. Mayor Stephanie Rollins-Blake had it. Mayor Pugh got it. And President Obama got it. Because it's a Democratic Party. And it's a corruption in your courts. So I made a documentary and a movie about you. And I showed you on February the 2nd, I gave this information to Greg Bernstein. The information was exposing Scott Schellenberger. All right. It was exposing Scott Schellenberger. It was exposing Chief Johnson and Judge Turnbull and the corruption in Lake in Baltimore County courts. I went home to file a two point five billion dollar class action lawsuit. See that? That's the date. That's the 21st. Why would I threaten to blow something up and I'm trying to get $2.5 billion from you? That don't make no sense. Now, Chief Rodney Hill got this from Internal Affairs. You feel me? Eric Holder got this. Ronald Davis got this. Department of Justice Harden got this. Eric Holder got this. You feel me? They got this. Frank Kite got it. And that's me locked up in jail. You feel me? That's why I use a toilet. Sam Cunningham knew all about this. All right? And like I said, this is about the elections. This is about mass incarceration. This is about your public officials to get paid to lock up black Baltimore. I got an insurance claim with Al Redmer. And these are the people that lock up black Baltimore. You feel me? Like I said, I'm making a movie about y'all. Witnesses. So these are the people that lock up Black Baltimore and co conceal the corruption. You feel me? These are the people that participate in the fraud. And the racism in the courts. These are the people that you elect to keep this illegal war on drugs going. I'm an independent filmmaker. You feel me? And that's my legal notice. You feel me? You feel me? 
I want a state and a federal audit. Because there ain't no law against making a movie. And the movie is about our courts. It's about our politics and our politicians. You feel me? I ran for office. I ran against Hogan. You feel me? But now we talking about y'all doing y'all's job. It's a fight for our lives. So like I said, no boundaries. There ain't no limits to what I'm going to do to get my freedom. Y'all owe me... You owe me a lot of money, I'm not going to walk away from that. Get ready to file this lawsuit and charge y'all, because like I said, it's the return. We're talking about the war on drugs and the opioid epidemic. We're going to talk about mass incarceration versus treatment. And I'm going to have fun doing it. I'm going to use toilets, cameras, toilets, cameras, and Donald Trump. And like I said, I got everything on film. It's the art of protest, the art of making money. And everything I got here is for sale. To be the best, you got to beat the best. And y'all ain't beat me yet. This is going to hurt a lot of y'all. Because like I said, Shorty's Underground versus Jake's Grill. You got checks that's been forged. And we're going to talk about it. I'm Shorty, the one and only, the original. My meat tastes good in your mouth. And you're going to have to deal with it. You feel me? Shorty's Underground Ribs, Jake's Grill. And Johnny Oleski, you asked for evidence. I gave you evidence. You signed for the evidence. You feel me? You signed for the evidence. So tonight at the county council meeting, I'm going to bring this... I'm bringing this storyboard to the county council meeting tonight so everybody can see it. It's going to be for the public to see. I'm going to out you in public. The same way that you did me, I'm going to treat you. Shorty's bootleg barbecue. So good, it's illegal. Put the squeeze on you. So tonight at the county council meeting, I'm bringing this storyboard. And we're going to talk about it. And you're going to give me what you owe me. You're going to compensate me for my losses. $2.6 million in lost wages. Y'all can't show an eviction notice. Y'all can't change, show nothing that shows that I gave my business up. I can show you where the state participated in the fraud. You feel me? Misrepresentation of a felony. You feel me? So do your job or lose your job. Because I'm fighting for my life. And I'm fighting for my freedom.